what's going on everyone hey it's uh tuesday it's the 12th of may um i'm flying up to london ohio to do some flight instructing in a cessna 140. um uh, it's only about 20 miles north of here um it's kind of hard to see on this map but uh there's springfield and it's a little bit east it's right over there it's madison county uniform yankee foxtrot um yeah i met a guy a couple years ago doing biplane rides and uh he just bought a cessna 140 so i'm gonna go up there do a little flight instructing i'm gonna take the champ up take you guys along so we got the champ running and uh we'll go out here and do a little pre-flight well we already did the pre-flight we're gonna do the run up winds are coming out of the southwest to, or uh yeah out of the southwest today so saying like 250 at 10 knots it might be a little bit more than that probably gusting a little bit so like we did yesterday or the last time we did a cigar check check our controls make sure they're moved free and correctly that's really, really important, especially if an airplane's coming out of maintenance or something. You don't want to have uh, the airplane like hooked up the wrong way, uh, wrong rigging. It has happened. Controls move free and correctly. Instruments. Got our tachometer, altimeter. Like I said, we're about a thousand feet above sea level here. Oil temperature's coming up, oil pressure's good, and our airspeed is zero. Gas, got our fuel on. Primer's in and locked. All right, airplane stuff, seat belts on. Trim, always take off with a little bit of down trim here up on the ceiling. Windows shut. And then the run up. We'll take our RPM up to 1500 RPM. Then we'll check our magnetos. Right mag. Left mag. Should get a little RPM drop there. Carburetor heat. There we go. So uh, pretty much everything's good. I always do a, another little control check here. And uh, pretty much that's it. We have a little crosswind from the right. And when we take off in an airplane, you always want to have the aileron down into the wind. And with the tail dragger, uh, the right wheel should be the last wheel that comes off the ground. So that's what we're gonna, our intent's gonna be. I'm gonna have the aileron over all the way to the right, since there's a little bit of wind, crosswind. And I'll bring the power up. As I do that, maintain directional control with the rudders. I'm gonna hold the aileron in. Stick is full forward. See the airplane's kind of leaning over into the wind, producing some horizontal lift there. There we go. There's a straight takeoff there. Then I'll establish a crab angle. So I'm climbing out at 65 miles an hour. And then I gotta figure out, okay, I gotta use this map here. All right. But I have lived around here my whole life, so I kind of know where London, Ohio is. Climb up here a little bit. Make a left turn off here. It's probably going to be about 50 degrees on the heading. You see the three grass strips there. There's the first one, and the second one is the wider one with the brown spot. And then uh, my strip there a little bit further to the west. It's a beautiful day out here right now. So since I know this area pretty well, it's going to be pretty simple for me to get there. I'm going to, this is South Charleston Road on my left. I'm going to just follow that on out. 
I see Columbus out there already, and that's 50 miles away. All right, so you can see here the tachometer. I'm running about 2100 to 2150 on the RPM, and I'm about 900 feet off the ground, so 1,900 feet. Oil temperature is really good. Oil pressure is really good. And then our airspeed, we're showing at 86 miles an hour. So that's, that's really good. We got a little tailwind. I'm, I'm not sure what our ground speed is, but uh, here's our compass. You can see we're swinging about 040, 030 on the heading. And uh, right out in front of us to the left is South Charleston. So it's an east-west runway. I think it's uh, 280, so runway 28, runway 10. We're going to be landing 28 today because the winds are, like I said, like 250 at uh, 10, maybe gust to 15. Uh, from this direction, I'm going to enter a 45 for the left downwind for runway 28. Should be pretty simple. Look for traffic. Observing, making sure there's no traffic. If there is, you try to deconflict, right? An airplane like this, you always want to make sure that you're close enough in case you lose an engine that you can glide right in. One day I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll go out and shut the engine off. So since the wind's blowing from the west, I'm crabbing so I don't blow it further away from the airport. Check my final. Yeah, there's that Cessna. He's on his uh, about to turn base also. As you can see here, I'm white over white means I'll fly all night. But uh, with a champ, something like this, you're not going to fly all night. This is perfect. Like I said, I always want to, I don't want to be dragging in this airplane on a 4,000 foot runway. I can land this in just a couple hundred feet. So I want to do a full stall landing. There we go. Smooth, smooth, smooth. I'll get off the runway here so they can land. Carburetor heat is in. Another good thing about a champ, you can see out the nose or over the nose while you're taxiing. You don't have to do S turns as much. Sometimes you do. I'm about that tall. I'm 5'7". I tell you, this airplane can breathe a lot better, too. I've lost 50 pounds. So, man, it's 65 horse. It really just really likes me a lot. So I'm going to taxi down here and park. Yeah, you can see this windsock. Man, it's sticking almost straight out, but it's right down the runway. That's perfect for him. He's been flying the airplane. He's just, uh, he's not fully comfortable flying the airplane alone. And I don't blame him if he hasn't flown tailwheel. You need somebody to be in there with you a little bit. So, let's figure out where we're going here. I need to park this thing in the grass so it doesn't blow. No, that's him. So this is what I'll do. That's a good thing about a champ or a cub. You can just pull out in the grass. Uh, put the nose into the wind here. There we go. So now we're all shut down. Bags off. And uh, we'll go and go fly to 140 around. All right, guys, I'll talk to you a little later. All right, we just finished flying to 140. I have to get home, so uh, I have to get some gas. And we did, man, you did a great job. Thank you. So, we're running a little late, or I am. Uh, I have to hand prop this, so I'm going to have you get in.
Yeah, check out this sunset out here. Beautiful. It's such a really, really nice day. I'm fucking a little bit of a headwind here, so I'm not get to uh, to my place too quickly. Yeah, this is the farm I was talking about. I see this farm whenever I'm you know, taking off out of my place and I need to come up to London. I can see these barns from my hangar. It's probably like 15 miles away. And there's a John Deere. Looks like he's uh, going out to a field. Boy, the farmers are out here really, uh, really busy. They have uh, four tractors out here in the field right now. acres out here. It's so awesome. Perfect opportunity to just come out here and fuzz. There's no houses, nothing. There used to be deer. Actually, there's the deer right there. There's uh, three deer out in the field right there. They're running now after I pass them up. So if you go deer hunting, this these woods right here. <laughs> so since the sun's getting ready to set, I gotta make my nice slow left turn here. But we're each coming on. But slow this thing down. I'm doing 75 miles an hour. I need to be doing 60. Man, what a beautiful evening. You can see me reaching up here all the time. This is my trim. Start getting pretty proficient flying. You'll learn that you have to use the trim all the time. That just helps you fly the airplane without struggling. Looks like we've got a good pitch attitude here. Alright, back on the back pressure here, back pressure. Have to stick all the way back. Alright, there we are. Sums up the day for me. Uh, went out champing a little bit. Went up to Madison County. Flew with uh, Bunyan and in his Cessna 140. He just got that not long ago. He did a great job. Uh, maybe we'll take you on a flight here soon with that. But uh, man, I had a great time in the champ. This evening flight was perfect. I wish I could have stayed up longer. But uh, I hope you guys were having a good time, a good day, being safe and. You know, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. But until then, blue skies.